414 right now. Let's take a look outside Lake Norman. I mean, the bugs are out, which is a great sign, right? That means spring. <laughs> Spring is coming. I hope those are bugs. I'm just assuming that's what's flying in front of our screen there. It still looks pretty there outside at Lake Norman, though. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane uh, to confirm, A, that it is feeling good outside, and B, that those are just bugs flying around. Yes, just, okay. just bugs, it looked like there. I was trying to look real close there. I and know, see. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but hey, either way, I mean, it's nice out there. It's about 80 degrees, a lot of us today. And Paige, I know we showed this at noon, but this is a picture you sent this to us or you sent it to Elisa to show that yes back in 2017 on this day instead of it being a warm and sunny March day it was a snowy cold mm. March day so yes there's your daughter there you can see that light covering of snow on the ground and on some of the tree limbs there four years ago on this day at Charlotte we had about 1.1 inches of snow do you remember that it's not that unusual Charlotte averages about a half of an inch of snow in the month of March so it just goes to show. I mean, it's it's that transitional time between the start of spring and then, of course, the end of winter, and you just never know what you can get. But today we have gotten the warm weather and the sunshine, nor nice warm breezes helping to boost those temperatures through the 70s and even some lower 80s out there. We've got 82 in Gastonia right now, 79 at last check in Charlotte. We'll wait and see if we can get that official 80 degree reading, making it the uh, first 80 degree day of the year in the Queen City. So that'll come out uh, here shortly. But 79 in Wade's and upper 50s and lower 60s up in the mountains. Right now, we do have a mostly cloudy sky. The wind out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And uh, again, temperatures on the warm side all over the Carolinas. We've got 80 degrees in Columbia, 81 down through Augusta, Georgia, and even out toward central and eastern North Carolina, 70s and some lower 80s all around. But changes on the way. So here's the cold front up to our north and west. You can see a band of showers along with that. And some of that light rain could reach the mountains over the next few hours. It's not going to be much if you even see it at all, but notice as we go into the night and then waking up Saturday morning, some spotty rain will be possible, basically from near the I-40 corridor north and west and up through those higher elevations. So here's the weekend forecast. Behind the cold front as it settles just to our south, it's not going to be quite as warm, still not too bad, those highs reaching the mid-60s, and the theme will be overall more clouds than sunshine with just a few more spotty showers possible. So if you do have some yard work on the list of things to do and some of those chores this weekend. It may be a little iffy the next few days, even into Monday and especially on Tuesday as eventually going into next week, we'll get more of that rain moving in. And so the chance of rain this weekend, again, not expecting much, but here we are at 315 in the afternoon tomorrow. We could see a little bit of light rain from near the Charlotte area up through the mountains and foothills, maybe some spotty showers by tomorrow night down through upstate South Carolina and then going into Sunday. Again, a few peaks of sun sunshine possible there by the afternoon a little bit of spotty rain a possibility once again but uh, as we roll on into Monday Monday is still looking mostly dry but by Monday night and Tuesday we'll see that rain becoming more widespread in coverage we'll see a break coming up late Tuesday early Wednesday and then by Wednesday night and going into Thursday, we'll likely see yet another round of rain moving in. So we're kind of flipping the switch back over to more of an unsettled weather pattern through next week, maybe even a few thunderstorms in the mix by Thursday. So getting to be that time of the year as well with up and down temperatures, even cooler early next week. And then we're back in the 70s toward the end of the week page.